Hey guys, my name is Nicolette Mashile. I am also known as The Financial Bunny. Welcome to The Financial Bunny TV. Today we're talking all things leveraging credit to be able to build yourself some wealth. And we're going to use the Builder's Store card to demonstrate this. So remember that none of my videos constitute as financial advice. If you are looking for financial advice, please speak to somebody that is certified and registered with the FSCA. For some of you who may know, I am going into the farming space. Really exciting. I bought my farmland back in January 2021. Yeah. So this year, back in January. And I really thought that, you know, the registration was going to be fast, quick, and I was going to be in it and I'm going to plant and really catch that summer rain season, right? Unfortunately for me, there was a little bit of delays and issues at the deeds office with the buyer, the seller, or I mean, the other buyers, because obviously we're buying portions of an existing farm and they all need to be registered at the same time at the deeds office. So if there's a delay on one person's portion, it delays the entire process. So unfortunately, I became a victim of that. And all the money that I had actually saved up to be able to pump into this farm and get it started, I had to use and redirect to other things, right? So come September, September, my farmland eventually gets registered, but I don't have all the money. So what are my options? I thought about using a credit card. I thought about using my personal, uh, a personal loan. And then I was like, you know what? Actually, even though I don't have a problem with using credit, I still need to find the right credit facility. So I was really excited to hear about the Builder's Store card, right? It's a credit facility that allows you to be able to purchase certain uh, uh, items on credit and paid off within, I think the maximum is 36 months. Now, a lot of us may be thinking, yeah, but ish, we, you know, yes, I know that using credit in South Africa has got a bad rep, but think about it this way. Think about being able to use credit to buy certain things, not for consumption, but for production, right? You want to make sure what, whatever it is that you're going to put on a credit line is actually going to contribute to you building your wealth. Look at it the same way that you buy a house, for instance. You buy a house because it's a good asset. I want to pump money into a farm because I know that that is a good asset or I'm pumping there for production purposes, right? Not necessarily for consumption. So it's always important to think about credit that way. In fact, many, many wealthy people always leverage credit. But what we do need in South Africa is a good credit education because a lot of us don't have it. So we don't pick the right credit facilities. So for instance, for me, this specific one, it was so important for me because let me tell you one thing that I kind of was hit by the moment I got onto the farm. So I was ready. I paid the tractors. They came, they ripped, they plowed, they did all sorts of things. And I was ready to plant, but I did not have water. And when I went to council and I spoke to Mohala City, they said to me, it can take up to 10 weeks before they can connect me to water. And I was like, listen, I'm trying to take advantage of the rainy season right now. I want to plant so that I can harvest within this planting season. And unfortunately, because I don't have water supply, I had to go to my next door neighbor and negotiate pumping some water from her borehole but I still need some way to store that water. So I then went around looking for a 10,000 liter tank, right? Now they are not five bob, those things, my friends. <laughs> they are not five bob. A good one that you can buy can come up to 14,000 rand. 10,000 liters of a tank at Boulders, around about 14,000 rand. I don't have 14,000 rand to pay out of pocket because I've already paid, as I said, for the plowing, the ripping, the preparing of the land, the seeds that I have to pay for, the laborers that I have to pay for. So if there's one thing that I can pay off over a couple of months that I can add to my budget, I'm comfortable with that. But what makes it even more exciting about the store card is the fact that it comes with a rewards system. Now, that is where my eye or my attention got caught. So they've got a reward system called the 321. What does it actually mean? Oh, before I get into that, it's important for me to remind you that you can actually use this Builder store card to shop online and in store at Builder's at Macro, at Game, and any other shop that is within the RCS network. So that reward system again, three, two, one, right? So 3% if you shop online at Builders, Macro, or Game, 2% back of your purchase if you shop in-store at Macro, at Builders, or at Game, and 1% if you shop at any of the other shops that accept the RCS card. 
Now that for me is really cool because on a 14,000 rand, 10,000 liter tank, I can get 420 rand back. Use that 420 rand back to go and buy my seed. Right? So more than just being able to use a credit facility that does not disturb my cash flow. Because yes, I may have that 14,000 rand, but I need it as cash flow for other things when other things come up. Because let's be fair, I'm not just farming. There's a whole lot of things that I'm doing, but also the farm demands a whole lot of other things like a gate, like um, seedling, like making sure that there's water. Like it's, it's a lot. But it's nice to know that the credit facility that I'm choosing to use to be able to build my wealth or contribute towards building my wealth gives me something back. Now, that is so important for me as Nicolette. And I want to urge you that if you're ever going to use a credit facility, it's important to make sure, one, you're using it constructively. You're not using it for consumption, but rather for production. But two, make sure you're getting something out of it. And that is why, for me, the Builder's Store Card works.